Welcome to Yes You Can DIY Digital Marketing by TTG. Today I will be showing you how to allow customers to add a note to their order on your Shopify website. It's a pretty simple thing to implement and it's a great feature to have because it allows customers to add a specific instruction to their order or if you're allowing personalization options for orders, they can type whatever they would like in the text box. So currently on my Shopify site, I do not have the option. It would appear where my mouse is right now, but it is turned off by default. Most Shopify themes actually do support this feature and it's pretty simple to turn on. So all you have to do is go to the Shopify dashboard and then go to themes and then click the customize button. From here, you're gonna see a dropdown at the top of your page and currently the home page is selected. I'm gonna select that and then I'm gonna scroll down towards the bottom where it says cart. I'll click on cart and then on the left hand side of the page you'll see a section that says cart pages. If I go ahead and click on that a checkbox appears that says enable order notes and as you can see it is unselected by default. So I'm gonna go ahead and check it off and you'll see that the box appears in the cart. I'm gonna go ahead and click save in the top right hand corner. And now when I go back to my shopping cart and refresh the page really quick, I now have this box that I can type whatever I'd like into. And depending on the theme, it's probably gonna pull a default form field. In this case, it says special instructions for seller, but you can actually change this to whatever you'd like. So I'm gonna navigate back to the Shopify dashboard really quickly to change it. So I'm gonna come back to themes and then under actions, I'm gonna hit edit languages. In the filter, I'm gonna type in the word seller because that is the word that it was populating by default. Just type in whatever uh, word was in there or whatever sentence was the form field default. And it should pull up under cart slash general. And I'm just gonna select the text, delete it, and add my customized text to it instead. So I'm gonna put add personalization note and I'm gonna scroll back to the top and click save. Now when I go back to my cart again and refresh, it now has my custom text in there as the form field. And that's pretty much it.